Are you ready for an epic showdown? In the vast realm of cyberspace, a battle rages between two formidable forces, the red team and the blue team. Get ready to dive into the thrilling world of red team versus blue team cyber threat. In this digital battlefield, cunning hackers with their red team tactics clash head on with the mighty defenders of the blue team. It's a high stakes game of wits, strategy and cutting edge technology, with the fate of our online world hangs in the balance. Unleashing their arsenal of hacking skills, the red team seeks to infiltrate, breach and exploit vulnerabilities in the digital fortress. But fear not, for the blue team stands vigilant, armed with state-of-the-art defenses and unwavering determination to protect our digital realm. This clash of cyber titans pushes the boundaries of innovation and pushes defenders to their limits. The red team's relentless attacks serve as a wake-up call revealing weaknesses that the blue team swiftly fortifies ensuring a stronger, more secure digital world. Join us as we unravel the secrets of the red team versus blue team cyber threat, delving into the tactics, the challenges and the triumphs of those who defend against the ever-evolving forces of cyber darkness. Get ready to witness a battle where the only outcome is resilience, innovation and a safer digital future. Brace yourself for the ultimate clash of the cyber titans, red team versus blue team cyber threat. Before we begin, if you are someone who is interested in building a career in cybersecurity by graduating from the best universities, or a professional who elicits to switch careers with cybersecurity by learning from the experts, then try giving a show to Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity with modules from MIT Schwarzman College of Engineering. The course link is mentioned in the description box that will navigate you to the course page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. And if these are the types of videos you would like to watch, then hit the subscribe button, like and press the bell icon to never miss any further content. Now let's get started. First we will start the agenda of this tutorial. So first we will start with the introduction, then we will see what is red team and then the skill set of red team and then we will see what is blue team and the skill set of blue team. Then we will see the cyber security showdown in which we will see both the teams how they work for an organization. Now we will see the introduction that is when it comes to protecting sensitive data and defending against cyber threats organizations employ two teams that is the red team and the blue team but what do these teams do and how do they work together let's find out so we'll start with the red team the red team also known as the offensive team it consists of seasoned security professionals who specialize in mimicking real world attack strategies their mission is to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in an organization's cyber defenses. And now we'll see the advantages of the red team. The red team approach offers several advantages. First, it boosts network safety, it helps find flaws in the system, encourages competition and cooperation, and amplifies knowledge on detecting and stopping cyber assaults. They play a crucial role in ensuring an organization's readiness for prevention, detection, and remediation. Red team activities involve thinking like a hacker to break into a company's security system with permission of course. They perform various tasks such as penetration testing, social engineering, card cloning and intercepting communications. By constantly challenging the blue team's defenses, the red team helps improve overall security. Now we'll see the skill set of red team members. So to be an effective red team member, one needs skills in software expertise, penetration testing, and social engineering. Understanding the risk and creatively strategizing attacks are essential to overcome the blue team's defenses. Now we'll see the certifications that could be the add-ons for a red team member. Aspiring red team professionals can enhance their credentials through certifications such as Certified Ethical Hacker CEH, GIAC, Penetration Tester, Licensed Penetration Tester, Offensive Security Certified Professional and Certified Red Team Operations Professional. The certification demonstrates expertise in offensive security and penetration testing. Now we'll see what is a blue team. Now we'll shift our focus to the blue team that is also known as the defensive team. Their primary role is to maintain an organization's internal network defenses against cyber attacks. They work tirelessly to protect valuable assets, detect threats and respond swiftly to any security breaches. Now we'll see their activities. So what do they do? So the blue team is responsible for analyzing digital traces, auditing the domain name system, constructing firewalls, monitoring network traffic, 
and employing access controls. Their aim is to establish a strong security posture and prevent unauthorized access. Now we'll see the skill set of blue team member. So to be an effective member of the blue team, one must possess skills in risk assessment, threat intelligence, and hardening techniques. They work with intrusion prevention systems, intrusion detection system, and other security software to defend against cyber attacks. Now we'll see the certifications that will be the add-on for blue team members. So certifications like CompTIA Security Plus, GIAC Certified Incident Handler, Certified Information Systems Auditor, GIAC Security Essential Certification, System Security Certified Practitioner, CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner, and Certified Information Systems Security Professional. These can help blue team professionals enhance their defensive security expertise. And the red team and the blue team must collaborate effectively to ensure optimal security. They exchange information about emerging dangers and hacker tactics, enabling both teams to stay one step ahead. However, in some cases, the blue team may not be informed. So the red team and the blue team must collaborate effectively to ensure optimal security. Now, we'll see the cybersecurity showdown in which we'll see how they operate. Now, we'll dive into the intense showdown between the red team and the blue team. Now, picture this. The red team launches a sophisticated attack on the organization's network, attempting to breach its defenses and gain unauthorized access to sensitive data. Now the red team utilizes their advanced skills, that is penetration testing, social engineering and exploiting vulnerabilities to carry out their attack. Their goal is to infiltrate the network and extract valuable information without getting caught. On the other side, the blue team is constantly vigilant, monitoring network traffic, analyzing security logs and employing advanced defensive measures. Their objective is to detect and prevent any unauthorized access and swiftly respond to any security breaches. As the red team progresses through the network, they encounter various obstacles put in place by the blue team. Firewalls, intrusion detection systems and other security measures challenges their every move. But the red team is persistent utilizing their expertise to find loopholes and exploit weaknesses. Meanwhile, the blue team closely monitors the red team's attack patterns, analyzing their techniques and reinforcing their defenses in real time. They actively collaborate, sharing information and strategizing to mitigate the ongoing threat. The main objective as the red team is to help organizations identify vulnerabilities in their systems. By simulating real-world attacks, they provide valuable insights that enable the blue team to enhance their defensive capabilities. And the red team plays a crucial role in cybersecurity strategy. Their simulated attacks push blue team to the limits and reveal weaknesses. The red team plays a crucial role in our cybersecurity strategy. Their simulated attacks push us to the limits, that is, push blue team to the limits and reveal weaknesses that they might otherwise overlook. It's a constant battle, but it helps them stay prepared and strengthen their defenses. Ultimately, the red team and the blue team rely on collaboration and mutual respect to succeed. While the red team exposes vulnerabilities, the blue team's role is to learn from their experiences, adapt their defenses and continuously improve the organization's overall security posture. With that, we have reached the end of this tutorial. Let's take a minute to hear from our learners who have experienced massive success in their careers. Hi, I'm Philip. I'm 61 years old and last year, I upskilled with Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity after working 30 years in the IT sector in various different profiles. I'm happy to tell you that I was able to clear and pass my CISSP and CCSP certification exams on the first attempt after taking the course. The course, I must say, was packed with practical examples and was led by highly skilled and certified instructors with many companies before as a security analyst and the architect on a contract basis, but I needed some stability which I got with the job I just started with Infosys as a cybersecurity consultant. Happened on the first. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment and we will have it answered for you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you for watching, stay safe, keep learning and get ahead. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.